we've got the Felida Planet Ocean homage. So the interesting thing about this one is it's actually a 500 meter diver, which is why we have actually got that helium escape valve there, and that is actually functional. It does actually work. So it would be interesting to see if this actually is capable of 500 meter diving. Obviously, I can't test that out, but I, based on the build and how hefty this is, how well built it is, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. It's a really nicely finished piece, really well done, as you come to expect from Felida. So I've got a quick zoom in on the dial. So we've got applied indices there, and then we've also, which I do like, got that colour match date window at the three o'clock. All the text is just printed. And then we've got really nice proportions and finishing on those hands. Nice high polish. If you're not keen on this black and orange one, they do actually do like an all black one, I think. That's more to your taste. When it comes to this bezel, it's a 120 clicks of rank with bezel. And I have noticed it is a little on the tight side. Maybe that's because it's new. Maybe it'll loosen up over time a bit more. But you definitely don't need to worry about knocking this. This is going nowhere. You need a firm grip on it when you're trying to adjust it. And it does line up perfectly as well. No issues there. So again, it's just like the rest of the watch. It's just really Really heavy duty. <laughs> that pretty much just sums it up, I think. Because the bracelet is the same. Big, thick links, which help balance out the weight in the head of the watch. Really nicely finished as well. Nice smooth brushing, rounded edges. No sharp edges on this at all. Same with the clasp. It's unsigned, but it is milled. When it comes to the case back, the sapphire crystal, but it's 500 meter water resistance, as I said earlier. Stainless steel, nothing out of the ordinary there. And there's a screw down case pack as you'd expect. When it comes to the links, they are any push pins. I would have preferred they were screws, but they work well enough. When it comes to the movement, we've got the NH35. And then, as again, as you'd expect, screw down crown. We've got female end links, which is always good to see, especially because this is a bigger watch. Not really a lot of curvature to those lugs. So I'll show you how it wears in a bit. Unsigned crown. But it is nicely finished the case. So I've got a mixture of brushed and polished. Polished on the side. Uh, brushed on the side, sorry. Big polished kind of chamfer there. Which twists around. And then polished on the inside, uh, brushed on the inside again. Match the bracelet. Does look good. Helps make the case look a little bit smaller i think those twisted kind of looks so speaking of the dimensions let's get on to them now so we've got a diameter of 44 mil thickness of 15.8 so it's a pretty thick one look width of 20 and then the look to log is coming in at 51.4 which is a little bit over my ideal 50 but i'll show you what it's like on wrist in a second before we do that though we mentioned as i said on the back sapphire crystal which got a slight dome to it so you can see we've got a little bit there already but let's charge it up and it has got an interesting loom profile on this as you'll see in a second was pleasantly surprised with this one it's got a mixture of c3 and bgw9 and there we go so it's mainly bgw9 on the hands and the indices, and if you look at that ling pip, we've actually got C3 on that. I don't know if it's going to come across on camera that well, but it is actually green. And again, as you come to expect with Felida, really good loom. They don't disappoint. I'd say they're probably just a step below San Martin level, I think. Really impressive loom. Not got to worry about that at all. Now I'll show you what it's like on wrist. So here it is on my seven inch wrist. I think it might be a touch big for my wrist because it's got a little bit of overhang there. If that case had just got a tiny bit of curvature to it, I think it would have worn a little bit better. Maybe I could just about pull it off. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think. Is this a bit too big? Is it more for like a seven and a half inch wrist than a seven? Definitely don't want to go below seven. It's going to be far too big for you. If you're a bigger guy though, Perhaps this is the one you're after. 
and as I say, it is really nicely finished. Really nice, smooth finishing rounded off the links. Same with the clasp. Nice detailing on the case of those twisted lugs. Really nicely finished throughout. Sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, 120 plate, 500 meter diver. Can't really fault it. Color match date wheel. Perhaps, if I'm being really picky, a little bit more AR. Other than that, can't fault it at all. It's a really good looking piece. So, again, don't forget if you're interested, links down in the description.